okay let's try to continue the chapter number two we have started previously okay this is chapter number two mechanical action and balance of non-deformable body okay i think last time we have talked about mechanical action different type of mechanical action force forces moment okay so that was discussed in this point number one and point number two the mechanical actions so in this video we will try to do this the part number three of this chapter isolation and equilibrium of a solid so this part especially we will do two video on this part the first video this one will cover the isolation of solid then the next one will be equilibrium of solid isolation of solid is like how can you uh, isolate for example a beam in a building if you have a building and you want to study the equilibrium of just one beam how can you like isolate that beam liberate the the beam from the the structure from the building and just study the that only beam okay how do you do that in the many exercises you have this beam already isolated and you have all the forces acting on the on the that beam and you can do the exercise however uh in the actual pro in an actual project you have to do it by yourself as an engineer structural engineer you have to do it by yourself okay but in classroom maybe your your teacher your professor will isolate the the structure for you okay so isolate isolating a, a structure a, a solid is just separating it you separate that, that solid to the other solid that are in contact with the solid you are studying okay because remember last time we said if there is a contact then there is a mechanical action okay even if you touch something like this small contact then there is action maybe there is force or moment all action result with mechanical action uh, mechanical all contact result in mechanical action okay so this point is will be our topic today how to isolate solid okay mainly we will do these examples from mechanical point of view but in civil engineering structural engineering also you can already guess imagine how we can use this kind of uh, isolation when you want to study a beam or uh, any part of your building you have to separate it from the other part of the building and then apply all the forces acting on the uh, the solid to study the equilibrium okay so before going to equilibrium we have to know how to isolate a solid that point is also somehow important so in this first part see part one we will do this just isolation okay and next time part two will be equilibrium and maybe after that we can do maybe some exercises how to study equilibrium of a beam of or any column Okay, let's go. So, this part three, is it part three? Yeah, part three of this chapter. Yeah, yeah. Okay, isolation and equilibrium. So, the objective of stat statics is to calculate all the mechanical actions applied to a solid in equilibrium. 
So when a, a column or a beam in a building is, if the building is standing, it means everything is static, is in, everything is in equilibrium, okay? So the objective of static, this subject, statics, what we are doing now, is to calculate all the mechanical actions that is that are acting on uh, any solid and study the equilibrium of that solid okay so if you have a building you may need to isolate just one beam of or one column the column and you try to investigate try to find all the forces acting on that object your study object okay that is the first first point enumerate identify all the mechanical actions acting on this object and then study the equilibrium and remember the the, the key of this video of this point of this chapter isolation is any contact generate mechanical action that all in that case if you have a beam for example in the, in, in your building or any contact in the mechanical machine if you want to isolate one element remember all the objects that are in contact of your study element remove them by replacing them with mechanical action that all if you understand that then this video will not be complicated for you this chapter this part of this chapter will not be difficult for you okay so here this implies two things i already explained them okay enumerate identify all the action you have to know all the action acting on your solid and then use the equilibrium study the equilibrium okay so we must start by taking inventory okay? the list of all the mechanical action exerting exerted by the environment on the solid without forgetting any here something is missing any uh action any for example action uh, like uh, weight, self weight, for example. Okay. 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 By isolating the solid, so isolating the isolating this the solid is making this inventory. You have to identify all the forces. Okay. And next, you assume the solid is statics you, the, the solid is static solid is in equilibrium it's not moving then we can apply the fundamental principle of statics and e e study the equilibrium of this solid okay so in this video we will focus on this first point okay isolation trying to identify all the forces acting on the solid before any investigation. No. Number one, so isolating a solid consists of removing all the external element to this solid and then replace them by mechanical action. This is what I have been saying so far since the beginning of this video. Okay, I hope you understand what I mean. All the external solid, external element, you delete them. Imagine you have a building, you remove everything, but the place where there is contact between an element and your your study element and another element, you have to replace with mechanical action force or moment it doesn't matter 
uh, which one, but it has to be the right one. Example, okay, this we will study this object, okay, uh, clamping mechanism. So, this clamping mechanism, we, we, we will study it. So, what we want to study is just this, this one, right? A pink, this, this pink object, we which is attached with this, this one, yellow one, and dark one, okay? So, this is what we want to study to study so we will isolate this element and by using applying this all the objects that are directly attached to this study object will be delayed and replaced by mechanical action by doing that you have isolate your object okay so this object, uh, we will put it here in profile view, side view like this. Maybe it's better, right? So this time, don't remember that we have contact here. It resting on this object C. So we have a contact here. We have a contact here, and we have another contact. Here. As you can see here. This contact is not directly related to this, uh, directly linked to this pink object, our study object. Okay. For example, here, this contact, this, this object, there is no contact, direct contact between this and our study object. In that case, we don't need them. We, we can just delete them and uh, without any problem. Okay. So no direct contact action between this this cylinder okay in this maybe we can talk in term in the way of like using the colors this blue one this blue object is not directly con uh, connected to the pink one right or to the yellow one or to the dark one black one so we can delete it without any problem this also green one is not also directly connected to the pink one okay so we can remove everything that is not connected directly connected to a study object which is this object okay so these three objects this cylinder and this and this you can just remove them no problem because they are not connected directly to our study object okay so we have removed them okay everything is removed don't forget that these two are connected so what else B here there is a contact, direct contact between this object and our study object. The solid we are studying here at B here. So we have to replace it, re remove this object. The what color is this? Is it purple? We remove it and we replace it this at the point of contact by a force, mechanical action. Okay. So this one, this time we remove this solid, we call this solid number two. Our study object is, this solid is solid number one. This is solid number two, okay? So that's why we have B here, the force two, the force of two acting on one. So this one acting on this. So we replace it by force like this, okay? It will be something like this, okay? delete it and replace it by a force this is how isolation is working next the point here a we do same thing okay we delete this object and we replace it by because there is a contact here okay 
any contact will result with mechanical action. So this point, we remove it and replace by corresponding action, mechanical action. It will be like this, remove and replace by this action. So we have this force here. Okay. Next is this C, the contact here. We will call this object number three. So, because it's like this, our study object is resting on this, okay? This punctual contact. So, we remove it and replace with a, a corresponding mechanical action because there is a contact here also, okay? Remove it, replace by this force, okay? And then, at the end, you should not forget the self-weight. Okay, the self-weight or any other uh, action acting far away. For example, magnet. Action due to magnetism. This kind of action. In that case, in this example, we don't have any action due to magnetism. However, the self-weight is always there. You have to consider it. So you, you never you should never forget the self-weight. So so this means this is isolation of solid. So if you are a civil engineer, so just imagine yourself doing this with a building in a building for a beam, you have the beam. You want to study the beam. The slab is resting on the beam. You have to evaluate the action, the weight of the slab, for example, the every other action coming on the on the slab that will be transferred to the beam through the slab. Okay. The connection between the slab and the columns, okay? So when you want to delay these columns, delay the column by replacing with mechanical action. However, for example, if you want to delay a foundation, the foundation is not directly connected to beam, for example. So you can delay the foundation without changing any thing, without, because there is no direct contact between foundation and and beam, right? So unless your beam is directly on the in the ground, directly in contact with the ground, directly in contact with the foundation, okay? This this is I'm talking about the way like we have beam, columns, and foundation. So you can liberate your beam, isolate the beam by doing this kind of uh, strategy. Okay. The many exercises you have in test books are already this the, the professor or professor will do this kind of isolation and give you the exercise. But in any actual project, you have to do this isolation by yourself. So you have to know how to do it. Okay, so, so if you want, for example, to not forget any uh, mechanical action, you can just uh, rely on like graphic link. That is not mandatory. If you, 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 you forgot, you are afraid that you will forget any mechanical action. Then you can do like graphic link. We will do this now. So each connection will come with a force or a moment. So we take this example, the same example, and we make graphic connection. It's like you have to separate 
all the objects in this okay all of them separate separate them so we have something like this see piece by piece one by one all of them you just separate like this and you have this you see this this was inside in the cylinder right so sliding by volt here connection between this and this connection okay all the pieces were connected like this so just replace the connection by this graphic okay links graphic link to graph link then it will help you to not forget any mechanical action or any yeah okay because if you forgot any mechanical action everything will be wrong your you will not be a good engineer <sighs> so here for example you have punctual action you remember last time we have seen the many type of mechanical actions so by doing this you can look at the connections the links okay so and you can imagine the limit the border which the isolating here we want to isolate this object right so it is easy here to see okay what are the links this one this one and this one this object this is the border isolation border see so isolation border are here so replace all this graph link by forces and that all without forgetting the self weight okay we have here this first link b sorry another link replace it by the corresponding force another link is here this object three the study object is resting on it right sorry so and at the last at last at the end you have to put also the self weight okay yeah so you don't have to do this anyway if you do it one time two time it will be easy for you to isolate any solid you want to study okay each connection each connection result with mechanical action that is the key key, key point the key thing you need to remember it's very important okay <laughs> So it is also possible to isolate several solid. That means you have, uh, for example, if you want to isolate one beam with two columns, one beam and two columns. These two columns, before you remember, maybe you deleted the two columns also, only the beams you study. At this time, you want to study the beam and two columns at the same time. You can do that also. But don't forget that the columns, now you have to consider the contact between the columns and the, the foundation. Then cut the, that contact and replace it by any mechanical action equivalent. To okay? So in that case, you will have to consider maybe some internal so external uh, external contact only the internal contact will not be necessary you will not use them in that case in the exact case what what i'm talking about now the example i took uh, the beam connected to two columns the contact between the beam and the first column is in internal contact in that case 
you won't need that on them. It won't be necessary exactly. The contact between the beam and the second column also is same. It will be in internal contact. You won't need that one also. Okay. So you may consider, for example, if we consider these three, three objects, okay. The internal contact will be this one and this one. So in this case, we will not need this for the equilibrium of our, because our study will be on these three objects. Okay. So in this case, you just need the connection that is in intersection with this, the, the red line, you see? These two connections are already inside. So you will not need them. Only the connection that the red line is crossing the border, okay, the limit of this zone. So you have here this connection, of course, and you have another connection here, and the third one. And the self weight of the three objects, never forgot that. This one, P, this one, self weight, and this, the self weight of this object. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, let's go for example number two. Supposing that uh, you are transporting like uh, trees, okay, with your truck, three of them, you go and cut, cut three for wood, okay, one, two and three and you put them in your truck and you decide to study the equilibrium of this okay three trunk These three trunk, remember, contact mechanical actions. We have a contact here, A, between this. Before, we have object number one here, object number two, object number three. And maybe your your vehicle, your, your car, the car you are using to transport your, your tree trunk. Is object number four. So between number two, object number two, and object number four, there is a contact here, A. So it will result with mechanical action. B, here, there is a contact. C, there is a contact here. D, a contact. E, a contact. F, a contact. Okay? So you have to. <laughs> If you want to isolate one tree trunk, this one or this one, any of them, you can delete all the other objects, replacing the contact with mechanical action. If there is not contact, no contact between one object and your study object, you can delete it without any problem. So it's just like, same like previous example. So example number two. So we can replace this by this uh, graph. Okay. The link, remember last time, uh, previously we did in the previous slide, the link. Object number one is this tree trunk. Object number two, this one, tree trunk. Object number three, this one. Object number four is the car. That is carrying the the, the the three three trunk. Okay, number four. So there is connection between object number one and object number three. This one D connection D. C connection between one and four. 
this connection right this connection b is between object 3 and object 4 3 and 4 connection e this contact here between 2 and 3 connection f the contact here f between 3 and 4 a this one is 2 and 4 You don't have to do this, okay? This is just if you are afraid that you will forget something. You don't have to do this. You can do it directly and without forgetting the self weight of the all the the tree trunk or all the object you are studying, all the solid. That is very important. So let's consider this one first one number one. We consider this first solid. What are the Internal forces and external forces. As you can may see directly here, we don't have any internal force here. But we have external actions. This one, this one, and ex this external uh, forces and the self-weight. Okay, The contact here in C, contact D, and self-weight. That are the three we have. C means action of four on one. This contact C. D this one, and the P the self weight. Okay, P self weight. Internal action, internal inside. Nothing. Okay. Number two, we take this three trunk number two. Same. Here, A, A, and P. Okay. The contact here. The contact here. And the self-weight here. As internal, we have nothing. Number three. Okay. What do we have? One, two, three, four, and here have this connection, this connection, this one, this one, and the self weight. Okay, D, E, okay, F, the contact here, B, and the self weight of this three trunk. Internally, nothing. Let's now consider two, two, three trunk. At the same time, number one and number two. Ah, number two here. So these two, the two of them. So remember, all, all forces across this green dash line. Okay, the dash line will show us the external forces, and never forgot the self weight. Inside the green dust line, do we have any force, any contact? I don't think we don't have nothing. It means we don't have any internal contact. And it's simple. As you can see, between three trunk one and three trunk two, there is no contact. So we don't have any contact here. So it means internal force, internal action will be zero, nothing. So we have all these C this contact D or A here this contact E and D these two contact okay and you see the cross line where any link that this dash green line will cross will be considered as external action. Okay, so we have one here, two, three, and four. Don't forget, this is just self-weight. Like this one or this one. We consider now, internally, as I say, it's zero. One and three, for example. 
what do we have? Same, see, all action across, coming across uh, the, the red dashed line will be external action. So we have one here, two, three, four. Okay, this is self weight. This is self weight. So internally, inside, we have one action this one, this link. one now the thing is this link is actually this contact d the thing is at this contact we have two forces the force of this one this three trunk on this one and reversely this three trunk also will act on this one the two forces have same direction They have same intensity, but the direction are different. They are just opposite. Okay. So they are canceling each other. That is the, the point. So externally, we have external action, this action, without forgetting the self weight. This one. Okay. One, two, three, and four. This one is not inside. Internal action, we have these two. Okay, D three one, D one three. Here, this contact. This object is acting on this one, and this also is acting on this one. Just inversely, reciprocity. Two and three, it, it will be same as one and three. Okay, same. So we not waste time on this. You can check by yourself. The internal action is this one, this contact. Okay, because now our object, study object is this. The external action are this one here. This contact, this contact, and this contact. So, one through two, three, four, plus the two self weight, self weight of this, self weight of this, it will be six in total, and the internal contact. <laughs> okay, how about if we take these two, these three? three trunk at the same time, what will happen? In that case, we you can see we have two link, two internal link. So two forces here, two forces here. And we have here one, two, three, four. Plus the three self weight. So it will be seven in total externally. Internally we will have these four. Two here and two here. This is example, very simple example, but you can imagine how to do it in the case of a building, a, any building, any construction, civil structure. It can be even a bridge, okay? Identify your study, the solid you want to study, because we want to, to study the equilibrium of each solid of each part of the of your building of your bridge so you isolate it and do it okay it will help you to to get all the mechanical action by studying the equilibrium of this element because next time we will talk about equilibrium okay mutual action the mutual action in the the previous example, for example, we realized that the mechanical action in connection can be in two ways, expressed in two ways, depending on if they we isolate one or the other. Okay, two solid, 
for example we had contact between one and three if you have this this solid will act on this one and this one will act on this one the interesting thing is that these two forces are cancelling each other okay so these two mechanical action okay represent the same thing the difference lies in the direction of the vector just the direction so they are opposite but the same intensity opposite something like that. it's like when you put something on for example a support this is table for example and this this ball resting on this support the weight of this this ball will be acting on the support and the support will oppositely opposite a reaction will be acting of this of the support will be acting on the the ball okay here is for example the force the reaction force of this support on this ball in this direction we call it force d one three this is object one this is object three and the po contact point on is d that's why we call it here and this one point a uh, the force d d three one is the weight of this ball as you can see these two are opposite same intensity but like same value but the opposite direction okay i think that all for this part um, maybe not so difficult but please uh, remember how to isolate any solid in building or any civil structure and after isolating you can study the equilibrium of that solid okay yeah that all thank you very much and see you soon